we are going to discuss about online reinforcement learning of optimal threshold policies for marco decision process then we are going to uh, see about the overview of our project uh, here the main objective of our project is to analyze or to forecast the next uh, bitcoin price by using different reinforcement algorithms as a subfield of machine learning reinforcement learning aims at empowering one's capabilities in behavioral decision making by using interaction experience with the world and an evaluative feedback unlike traditional supervised learning methods that usually rely on one shot exactitude and supervised reward signals uh, the oral tackles with sequential decision making problems with sampled evaluative and delayed feedback simultaneously the system is developed the different reinforcement algorithms such as q learning marco decision process and sarsa then we can create a policy by using greedy then we can visualize the graph based on actions rewards and episode due to the reduction in the policy space the proposed algorithm provides remarkable improvements in storage and computational complexities over classical reinforcement learning algorithms we are going to discuss about flow of our project btc dataset so the dataset was collected from some dataset repositories like kaggle github uzi and so on input data here we can read or load our input data by using pandas package then policy here we can create a uh, policy by using greedy so the main purpose of greedy is to uh, achieve is to help the achieve the highest reward then reinforcement learning so in this step we are implemented different reinforcement learnings the first one sarsa that is the state action reward state action so in this step first state action then reward so the state uh, meaning so after each action taken by agent uh, it returns some situation so that is the state then action in a sense moves taken by agent reward it is a like a feedback so return for every action then q learning so here what are the steps mean state reward q table so here also take one action uh, from agent then it uh, return a some situation and it will get uh, some rewards uh, based on every action so the rewards will be updated in q table then marco decision process so here we can uh, what are the steps means final state final action reward probability then finally we can estimate the performance the performance means um, uh, performance means uh, based on reward and episodes we can estimate these performance so here we are analyzing the learning uh, time so if the algorithms learning time will be low means or uh, or else low means the algorithm is efficient so this is the flow of our project uh, then we are going to see about the demo of our project so this is the output of our project here we are run our project in spider ide from anaconda navigator so this is the data selection the data contains the some um, prices then greedy policy so greedy policy in a sense so first we are creating the episode 1 episode 2 so episodes so these are then visualization so this is the overall episodes episode 1 2 3 then the algorithm sarsa so the sarsa's performance estimation or learning uh, fast this is a faster learning so that's why take the time to one three then q table the q table will be a, a for uh, value updation for every actions so after getting a reward then this is the episode one this is the total reward episode to the total reward so likewise it will be calculated the total uh, episodes 
then this is the uh, analyzing the BTC uh, price from uh, from up to down <coughs> then Q learning so the Q learning in a sense so this is the for uh, every actions result so the Q learning get a uh, time for learning then MDP so this is the graph for MDP then estimation time so the performance must be low means uh, the algorithm is efficient so in our project we conclude the sasa is efficient because the learning time is too slow when compared with other algorithms thank you